My name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a professional skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today, I'm gonna teach you the fastest, easiest, most easiest, fastest trick to learn on your skateboard. That's a real trick that you could learn fastest and easiest. We've taught a lot of people how to skateboard and in teaching a lot of people how to skateboard, we bring them to the warehouse and we do them some skateboarding tricks. And we have found that there's a few tricks that if you have not stepped on a board ever, 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 you can do. We already made a video called the five easiest skateboard tricks. This is going a little bit further than that. Those are easier tricks than like really anything you could even think of. This is the first actual like, nobody's gonna argue that this is a legitimate trick. It's a legitimate trick. You do this in a game of skate and call it beforehand. It'll be fine. You can count the trick for sure. It is a shove it, no pop. You're not gonna pop shove it, you're not gonna pop the tail, you're not gonna hit the tail on the ground, you're gonna do a shove it with no pop. For some reason, this just tends to be the easiest trick. I think it's because it doesn't require any of this, it doesn't require any real change of balance. You can literally just stand there, position your feet in the correct position, do just a little motion with your back foot, and just a very, just the tiniest little hop up with your front foot and the board is gonna go and you can land. Um, when we were first teaching Courtney how to skateboard, um, we taught her how to push and she rode up and down the ramps a couple times and really just pushing and spent a little bit of time on pushing. Then right after that, we taught her how to do a shove it. There were a few things that we did in that video. I mean, you guys can fully watch the video if you wanna check it out and see all of the things that she did to learn. She would hold on to something. Um, she started up on the ramps. She actually did the shove it up on the ramp. The ramp gives you a little bit more of a breakaway because the wood is a little softer than the concrete. But if you guys wanna start this on grass, on dirt, on your carpet at home, whatever. Do whatever is most comfortable for you so that you can get the motion down so that you can actually learn the trick, land the trick, and get it down. So really, this is the shove it. If you're really dedicated and you go out there and you're not going to stop until you land it, I think that pretty much anybody can do this within a few days. You can probably do it on your first day. If you don't land it on your first day, it's okay. Do not freak out. Do not quit skateboarding. Actually, just don't quit skateboarding no matter what. Some people are like, oh, I can't kickflip in my first week. I quit skateboarding. I could not ollie for the first six months. It took me a full six months of skating to learn how to make the board go like that. And now I can do a lot of tricks, so it's worth it. Stick with it, you'll have a lot of fun. It also teaches you to stick with it. So if you can stick with skateboarding and you can push through and learn a skateboard trick, then something hits you in life and you feel like quitting, you're gonna realize this is just like the shove it. I will not quit, I will not give up. I'm serious. If you can land a shove it, you could do anything. Yeah, you wanna start a business and make it successful? Don't give up. You wanna have a relationship and make it successful, make, have a happy marriage and make it successful? Just don't give up. Just keep going, just like you did on the shove it, and you will do it, you will do it, I guarantee it. I have three thriving, successful businesses, and I attribute my success to the shove it. First try! <laughs> we got off into like a whole like life lesson there. So here's the dealio, guys. You're gonna put your front foot right here, you're gonna put your back foot right here, your front foot is gonna be flat. Flat on the board, eh, flatta. Your back foot is going to curve over the edge, just like that. Curve it up, curve it over the edge. And then guess what you're gonna do? You're going to jump up just a little bit with this front foot while you shove your back foot straight back. Straight back, just like that. And the board underneath you is gonna go like this. As if it's on a hand holding it, it's gonna go like that. The reason it's not going to turn is because your front foot is gonna be on there flat, just like that, and it's gonna go like this. There are some practice steps to this. You can have your front foot off, your back foot on, and just practice going like that. 
It doesn't even matter how bad you do it. You don't even need to hit the tail on the ground. You just shove it back. It's actually easier standing on the board than it is standing off the board. But just in terms of you not falling, you can stand off and just do that. Good. Then put your front foot on the board and do the shove it and then step off with your back foot. Shove it, step off with your back foot. Shove it, step off with your back foot. You want to really practice getting the board to stay flat. Because if the board starts to turn like this or starts to turn like that, you're going to land like that and that makes your feet very not happy. You could fall and then your head would not be as happy as your feet were not happy because you landed like that. It's just not good. Okay, so guys, leave your front foot on there just like that. Boom. Your back foot on there. Shoosh. You got it. If it makes that sound shoosh, you know you've got it. This is like pure perfection. The board will say shoosh and you're like, that was a shove it. Even the board knew. So that's pretty much it. Once you put all those steps together, you just land it. And here's the deal. Land a shove it, just land one, and then go like this. Yes! Yes! Don't care who's watching. Dance like no one's watching. That's what you're gonna do. No matter where you are, just start screaming. Yes! 3 a.m. in your bedroom and your mom's asleep. Yes! <laughs> then, call it a day. Then the next day, go and do the same thing. Every day you go, every day you go skateboarding, you're going to do a shove it. Don't give up, do a shove it. Do a shove it, you can do it, you can shove it, you can shove it. If you guys wanna learn how to skateboard, we are having an open house, we're having a party, we're having a little event. May 20th, you can come here. There's a limited amount of tickets available, so definitely get your tickets fast because when the tickets run out, they're out. There's only a limited amount of people we're allowed to have in here, so if you wanna go, I, like I said, I will do my best to get to everyone. I, there's gonna be quite a few people, but I will teach you how to shove it. Please, if you're here and you haven't learned how to shove it, come and grab me. I will teach it to you. You guys can learn it. May 20th, tickets available on the website. I will see you then. I wanna teach you how to skateboard. I wanna get new people skateboarding. If you've never, never skateboarded before, buy a skateboard this weekend. Come to the event, May 20th, tickets available on the website. You guys got this, I'll see you there. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned how to shove it. I hope your shove it improved your business, your marriage, your, your love life. I hope that improved your life at home. You know, if you're trying to grow a garden and your daisies will just not come up, just be like, Daisies, shove it. And your daisies will just go like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, definitely click this little bell thing on YouTube, there's this bell. And if you click it, every time we upload a video, you will get a notification. And we're making a lot of videos. We make, actually we have two different channels where we make different videos, all relating to skateboarding in some form or fashion with the main purpose of teaching more people how to skateboard. So you can just go ahead and subscribe to both channels, Braille Army and this channel that you're on right here, Braille Skateboarding. Click that bell so you get the notifications. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. And we've made a lot of videos before teaching people how to skateboard, so you can go right there. And if you are ready to come and meet us and learn how to do a shove it or any other trick, I was trying to limit it to the shove it, but I will teach you any other trick. If I have the time, I hope we can do it. Click right there, go to the shop, get your tickets. They're available right now. Limited time only, a limited amount of tickets. So get your tickets, I'll see you there May 20th. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a blast. The first one we did was so much fun. I think everybody that came had a ton of fun and I wanna see you there so you can have fun. Thank you, good night.